Good morning. It's Turbo Tuesday in the 55 plus family. And of course, we're continuing the theme. This is 4th of July week. This is July 2nd, which happens to be my husband's birthday too, by the way. I don't know how many years he would be. I'm 69. He's 73 years young. So anyhow today, but so we're going to continue the theme. What are you grateful for as it relates now to your fitness, to your ability to move and do what you want? Today is about Turbo Tuesday, which is about our fitness pillar. What things are you grateful for that you're able to do this 4th of July uh, weekend that you couldn't last 4th of July weekend? Or another angle is, what would you like to have different by next year? Next year's 4th of July, in terms of your fitness pillar, what would you like to see change? And I'm going to feature two gals that are specifically in our 55 plus family that have had some pretty major changes weeks, just the last few weeks going into um, the 4th of July weekend. Both of them have conquered quite a bit. We're going to talk about conquering our fears so that we can get moving forward. It, this is specifically geared to any of you that have had any challenges with your mobility, whether it's a shoulder, a back, a hip, a knee, whatever that is that has held you back. We want to talk about some of the options you have that are absolutely beautiful. So let's do a quick share. And I'm going to give you a few stories. And then I hope you share your stories as well right? So we will go on to there. Okay, it's Turbo Tuesday, gang. Here's a good theme for us as it relates to our mobility and challenges with uh, joints. Everything you ever wanted is on the other side of fear. So it can be incredibly fearful. I'm going to talk to you about two of the gals in our group here uh, that just one just had knee surgery, knee replacement. The other just had a hip replacement. I'll guarantee those are not fun things to look and plan for, but on the other, they're on the other side of that surgery now. And they're seeing some of the breakthrough to already just weeks and days into their recovery time. So we all know that we've faced fears. Share one. If you've had uh, one of the mobility challenges and even had a replacement already or are thinking about a replacement, share that with us because we'll know that that's just part of your story as well. We all have them. Matter of fact, I shared here on the bottom right, it says eight months. I'm, I screenshot two of my uh, graphs that I have. So when I started with DDPY on January 20th, 2022 was the day I began. I had near zero mobility. So I was tracking. I had a goal every single week to walk one more step than the week before. So every single week, and I'm here I'm showing you eight months later results. But every week, my only goal was to just take one more step a day, which average then would be seven more steps numerically, right? So if you're looking at uh, the day one I started on January 20th on Thursday, it says I took 3,011 steps that day. Well, what it doesn't show you is I had to go out three times to be able to get that in because I could only walk a few steps and then I would sit on a park bench. Then I would get up, walk a few steps, sit on a park bench. I would get in about a thousand steps before I was completely exhausted and I would take the golf cart back home and rest. Then at another point in the day, I'd go back out and do the same thing over again. So when it says on Thursday, January 20th, 2022, that I did 3,011 steps, that was actually three separate trips out to accomplish that. But anyhow, so my very first week, a cum cumulative, you can see, I ended up getting 29,330 steps in, which was a major stretch, right? I was doing my DDP workouts, getting in all the things that really are referred to now, even with knee hab rehab, right? Because both knees had injuries. And I was averaging 4,190 steps a day that first week. Mind you, that was always three times out a day. But 
Every week it kept progressing. Every week I began to feel breakthroughs in every ounce of my mobility issues. So this is on the right side of that, of the eight months that I had tracked. You can see how many steps I was doing. Every one of those steps, by the way, that I was doing were solid one time out the door. As a matter of fact, the reason I put an arrow there is on Wednesday, uh, September uh, 7th, 2022 I went to a Disney Disney uh spot I can't remember what the name of the park is called one of the theme parks and I ended up when I got back in the car after that park 21,748 steps all in one Disney theme park I I looked at my tracker and thought this cannot be I mean this is unbelievable Eight months in, and I've gone, I've had a day that was 21,000 steps, right? Which was in the beginning, never even a, a thought in my mind. Really, uh, fear did wrap around me a lot when I was first beginning. But in faith, I was seeing so many people with breakthroughs in here that I thought, well, shoot, I'll just start, I'll start taking one step, one right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot, right? <laughs> So by the time that particular week, I had what? 82,088 steps. And I was averaging 11,726 steps a day as an average. So I'm telling you, gals and guys, whatever you are setting as a fitness pillar goal, just have the boldness to step into it. And we have two gals in our family right now that I think you've all been seeing at least. So Vicki, uh, well, Allison is up on the top right corner. Allison had a knee replacement a few weeks back. We even had Matt Kilgore on and was doing an interview with her. We will have her back as well for a live interview, but she has been posting things. So check check out a lot of the posts because Allison has been sharing her journey uh, really detailed. Thank you so much, Allison. It's so cool to know somebody that's actually had a knee replacement. I've never had one. And your journey is so encouraging to us all. And then on the bottom right, of course, is Vicki. Vicki just a week ago had her knee, uh, hip replacement. Oh my gosh, Vicki, I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine that one, but she's been staying in touch with me. Vicky's doing well. She was able to give herself her own shower, which we all know what that feels like when you've been laid up, not feeling well for any reason, right? And she got into her car and sat there in the driveway today just to get the feeling of it. She has to be released from PT, she said, as to when um, there's enough strength in her uh, hip hip PT to be able to actually drive a car safely so she can stop fast if she needs to and the strength of that, right? So she's waiting on that, but she her attitude is phenomenal. She, she's going to come on and do a live with you very soon. I told her, you tell me the day, girlfriend, and we'll have you on to share what that journey of a hip replacement has been like for you. And then I, so thank you both girls for sharing your journeys. So we all know anything's possible, whatever that takes, right? And then I want you to all know how to get to the physical therapy uh, things that are in here anyway, because whether you're having surgery or you're like me, I didn't have surgery, right? But I needed a lot of help because the rehab I tried nine years before didn't really do much, right? And so I want you to know how to find it. So when you're onto your landing page, and I always say you can log in from your phone, your iPad, or your computer, wherever you log in, you can see your, your virtual office, right? Then click over to uh, workouts, click on workouts. And to find uh, the physical therapy things, I'm going to kind of teach you how to go through. So top row are all the things that you want to earmark with a star, that those are ones that are your favorites that you're using. You can see I'm doing a lot of rehab <laughs> ones in there too, right? Um, recently added is here, right? So you can go down. If you continue to scroll, you guys, you're going to see all the different things that are specifically. Here we come to DDP. Uh, DDPY PT 
back builder. So all five of those are back builder specific. But if you want to continue to look on down, there's advanced, there's ex extreme, there's all these different choices, right? There's even three there for kids, right? There's a prenatal uh, one that's in there, right? So you can then it begins to go into specific trainers. If there's a trainer you've been wanting to try out, and I encourage you to try all of them so that you get a feel there is a difference. So uh, top one here is Paige, uh, Dallas's uh, wife, the queen of DDPY. And you can scroll across here and see all of those. And based on the color of the diamond, that tells you the level of how hard that would be. But all the other trainers are listed here, right? And, but you need to go for the knee and the, um, uh, see, the, the knee and the shoulder. You, those are further down here. They're clear at the very bottom of the scrolling. Then you will see a DDPY PT knee hab, and you'll see DDPY shoulder strong. So you're going to see those by scrolling through all these different choices or in the um, uh, search little icon up here in the right corner. You could put the word like, say, the word Nehab. Hit search. All the Nehab ones just showed up right there, right? So you can put a search word in or you can scroll down and really just enjoy seeing all of the workouts because there are so many choices within there. And if you're like any of us that have had um, to use the PT things, we're also using the other uh, workouts too, right? So you do want to find other things within there that work well with whatever physical therapy you're going through. So have a fabulous uh, Turbo Tuesday. We will see you for Wellness Wednesday tomorrow. Remember, we're gearing up to what does it look like? Please leave a comment today. What does this 4th of July weekend look different to you in terms of your fitness this year over last year? Or what would you like to see your fitness pillar look like different by the time we get to next 4th of July? So love you tons. Uh, let's see. We'll talk to you.